Bro. when you're in it, when I was watching you, you were doing a breathing exercise right before you were you were breathing, and then they put the bubble, you know, the the water coming up below yeah. you, and then you put the thing on your nose, and you went in. What what's the exercise you're doing right before? What is that exercise? Okay, I will tell you. 90% of my, I will keep it for myself, 10%. Is it, is it it's fair okay. for you? Yes, it's because, okay. Yeah, yeah, because there is a lots of guys who are better than me, who are more most famous than me, and they were trying in the last two years to break my record, uh, which was 24-11, uh, and uh, they didn't succeed. So I have special preparing, if you know what I mean. I found myself in some kind of, I'm not doing uh, meditation, I'm not doing yoga. It's just my, let's say, strong will. And I found myself, okay, five breed, one easier. Five deep breed, one easier. Five, I don't want to say how many of them <laughs> I, I did it. And then I said, okay, now it's time, uh, dead or alive. Uh, it was earthquake during my attempt, small, but it was earthquake. And I said to my coach, I'll kill you if you take me out. Why? I will, I will explain why. Because the people in that area are suffering for 10, 15, 20, 35 earthquakes a day. It's just one earthquake during my attempt. If you're taking me out, trust me, look at me in the eyes, I will kill you. Because I have no, uh, I have no, uh, uh, I can't do to those people. They are waiting outside for me to break a Guinness record. Only if there is no water because everything's crushed. Then say, okay, Buddha, go out because there is no water around you. But otherwise, and it was small, I can feel it. I was feeling, and I said like this, no, 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 no way. Don't, don't get me out. So uh, the, the most important thing, I have the biggest uh, uh, wish to make that kind, of, that kind of Guinness record because I am always thinking about the kids, not about m myself. I'm just their voice, if you know what I mean. I can't help them on the other way, if you know what I mean. So if I make 24, uh, 37, and it's going to be Guinness, look at this. I am in front of you. You are, you, you are a legend. And how, how I get to you if I didn't do Guinness record? Am I right? Now it gives me uh, a possibility to say uh, the autistic kids are not, it's not illness, it's just a matter of state. If you know what I mean, they are not evil. If they are uh, shaking themselves, don't look at like them, uh, like they are uh, some kind of disease, uh, turn around your head. Please try to help them because they are not doing in purpose. It's just the brain, if you know what I mean. And it's not. It's not curable. It's a state for the rest of their life. And on us, it's a matter of how we can make their life easier. That's the main point. And at, at the end of the, my life, you have a mirror and you will say, I gave my best. There is a beautiful sentence. It's my favorite sentence in a movie Rescuing uh, Private uh, Ryan. Ryan. Saving Private Ryan, yes. Saving Private Ryan. Sorry, sorry. It's and, okay. And uh, the last scene, the last scene, Tom Hanks said to Matt Damon, do you remember yes. the last sentence? Make it count. Make it count or something. Uh, uh, deserve uh, it. Deserve it, yeah. And he asked his wife at the end deserve of the movie. And that's right. This is the, the whole point of my life. Deserve it. I, I, uh, I'm always, you know, like this. It sort of makes me uh, cry. But this is my motto. Deserve it. You came to this earth. You, you don't have to be Tesla. 
You don't have to be Armstrong on the moon. You don't have to be uh, Musk. You don't have to be uh, the last president before uh, Obama. No, this one, uh, Obama. You don't have to be Obama, which I'm not approved for his uh, awareness for a peace. I think other guys deserve it more than him because uh, I expected much. I'm his fan. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I expected much more from him. He's still my favorite uh, president, but I'm kind of kind of disappointed because he has such a great opportunity to make the world better. I thought for And, sure you would have said Trump is your favorite. For sure, I thought no, you love Donald Trump. No way, no way. Are you kidding me? I'm kidding. We, of course, I'm kidding. Sorry, sorry. I knew sorry, your sorry, story sorry. because no, I'm no, I, I don't want to say any any wrong word about yes. Trump because he he was your president and you have to respect that. Yes. There is a 300 million people in waters in America. Am I right? And if you take 72 millions of people, you have to respect them on this, on the other way. 72 millions. Croatia has only four. Come on, 72 millions. They say we want Trump for a president and you have to respect them. You can't say they are all stupid. Don't get me wrong. It's my opinion. It's my opinion. I, I don't uh, uh, agree with my ex-president in Croatia. But I say, okay, she is my president, and I have to follow their rules, if you know what I mean. I was in, a, I, I, I elected, I was, I never, I never miss any kind of election. I always go because I think it's your duty to make a cross for one person or the other. It's your duty, and it has to be obligation. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.